FL Pro can seamlessly integrate the OP320 HMI panel with the ESP8266 using the Modbus ROTU protocol. First, set up the circuit connections for the ESP8266 and the OP32 HMI panel as shown. An LED is connected to pin D0 of the ESP8266, a potentiometer to pin A0, and a servo motor to pin D2. The TTL to RX485 converter model TX pin connects to the ESP8266 RX pin and the RX pin to the TX pin. VCC to 3 volts and GND to GND. Terminal B of the TTL to RX485 model connects to pin 8 of the Panet DB9 connector and Terminal A to pin 9. These connections should be made after the programming of the ESP8266 and the OP320 HMI panel. Using FL Prog version 8.2.1, create a new ladder program for the ESP8266. Expand the project tree to add Modbus communication and select the slave ROTU. Expand the Modbus slave tree, interface ROTU, URATS, and double click on URATS to select Sierra 0 at 9600 baud rate. The 8 data bits, no parity, and one stop bit will be maintained. I am using the TTL to RX485 converter model that does not require the pin PEDE. The default mode bus slave address of 1 can be changed as required. Expand the variable and then the COI tree to add a COI tag for on and off at addresses 0 and 1. Add a discrete input tag for the LED at address 0. An input register tag for ports. And a holding register tag for servo. Add the on and off coil tags to the program and connect them to KP1 by stable relay as shown. Connect the KP1 contacts to D0 coil and CHB1 bit change detector. Add the LED discrete input tag to the program and select the input of the right enable. Connect the KP1 and CHB1 contacts to the input of the LED tag as shown. Add and connect the A0 analog input to the port input register tag. Select the input of the right enable of the port tag and connect the number change block as shown. Finally, on the program, add a servo motor block assigned to pin D2 with the input option to set the angle of rotation. Add and connect the servo mode bus tag to the A input of the servo block and compile the project. Locate the void setup section of the Arduino code with dot attach and include comma 544 comma 2400. This will enable the servo motor to have a complete 180 degree rotation. Then compile and upload the Arduino code to the ESP8266. My HMI panel has the model number OP320-A-S version 8.0. The required software version of the OP20 editor tool is V8.0Q and can be downloaded with the link in the description. Create a new project and select model OP320-5-A. Select the PLC type, Moodbus ROTU. OP is master. Set the communication parameter baud rate to 9600 to match that of the ESP8266. Ensure that the data bit setting is 8, the stop bit is 1, 
and the parity is none. Then click OK. Add and position text widgets on the editor with captions of on, off, LED, several, and port as shown. Place a function key before the on text. Select the one key, uncheck the and, and select momentary on. Ensure that the PLC station is 1 and the coil ID is 0x0 to match the on tag in the ESP8266. Place another function key before the off text and select the 0 key. Uncheck and select momentary on and change the mode bus coil ID to 0x1. Place the lamp widget before the LED and select the coil ID of 1x0 for the mode bus discrete input. Place the trend widget and set its width to 80 and height to 55. Change the register ID to 3x0 to match the port input register in the ESP8266. Change the display full value to 1023 to match the A0 analog input range. Change the sample data and cycle as required. Then place a register widget below the several text. Ensure that the register ID is 4x0 to match the Odin register tag of the ESP8266. Set the upper limit to 180 and the display digits to 3. Connect the USB-MD204 programming cable to your computer and the HMI panel as shown. Select the right COM port and click on the download button. Remove the programming cable from the HMI panel and connect the TTL to RS485 converter to the HMI panel as in the earlier circuit diagram. Observe the varying trend value on the panel of the potentiometer analog input when adjusted. Press the 1 key on the panel to turn on the LED and the 0 key to turn it off. Press the send key to impute any value between 0 and 180 for the servo motor and the enter key to send it. That is how it is done. I hope this video is helpful. If so, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing and click on the bell icon for more videos. See you in the next video.